Assalamu alaikum everyone and good morning sorry good evening to everyone Assalamu alaikum and good evening to everyone welcome to our regularly telecasted health related talk show general pharmaceuticals limited chastavatha myself dr sultan afroz the subject over the discussion today is about astaxanthin astaxanthin is one of the most sought after antioxidant supplement right now with good reasons astaxanthin is nearly 6000 times stronger than vitamin c and 550 times more stronger effective as an antioxidant than vitamin e which are one of the most important vitamins when it comes to boosting our immunity system it's not only an antioxidant powerhouse but also jam packed with antifatic and anti inflammatory properties as well as an array of other health benefits to discuss about the topic in detail we put together a panel of specialists with us so let me introduce to you two wonderful person with a wonderful view of life let me introduce to you mr eric caston he is the general manager of fuji chemical industries limited nutraceutical operation in asia pacific oceania Eric combines a scientific background in biology and biochemistry with over 20 years of experience in the Japanese business world. He has spoken on the health benefit of Fuji natural astaxanthins. Ingredient and other anti-aging topics throughout the Asia and around the world. And let me introduce to to you our, our another guest expert Dr. Yorg Snekenberg. is the head of the scientific affairs astoreal limited in japan he obtained his phd in biochemistry in 1993 he worked under the nobel laureate professor hubert uh, robert hubert at the max planck institute for biochemistry in munich in 2017 dr snekenberg joined the astoreal company in japan to become head of scientific affairs where he utilized the knowledge and experience to strengthen the science of natural astaxanthin presently dr snekenberg manage two clinical studies investigation natural astaxanthins health benefit and safety good evening sir it's my pleasure to welcome both of you at today's show thank, thank you, you very sir. much we're glad to be here uh, it's an honor to have such a hard working fellow like you to join us So, so we, uh, our today's topic is about astaxanthin. So, my first question uh, to Mr. Eric, that you are the inventor of astaxanthin, right? So, where is your operational base, and where do you manufacture astaxanthin? So, thank you, and and thanks again for the invitation. We're very happy to be here to talk about Astral Astaxanthin. Our company, Fuji Chemical Industries, has more than 75 years of history in the Japanese pharmaceutical industry, and we are active in the synthesis of advanced pharmaceutical APIs. We do contract spray drying to increase bioavailability of molecules, and we manufacture finished medicines in Japan. But during the 1990s, Fuji turned its attention to preventative medicine, and by that we mean preserving health through nutraceuticals. And after evaluating many different compounds, Fuji began investing in natural astaxanthin. So Fuji has been deeply involved in astaxanthin research and production for almost 30 years now. Currently, we cultivate natural astaxanthin, uh, the producing algae in Sweden, in Europe, and in Washington State in the USA. We also do additional processing of the ingredient at our headquarters and factory in Toyama, Japan. I'm actually calling you today from Toyama, Japan. So I would say that we are a Japanese-based company with production facilities in Europe and USA, and we also have a global sales and service network. Thank you so much, first, uh, sir, for your nice information. My next question will be Dr. Yu. So, the, what is the role of astaxanthin in your human body? Can you please tell us? First, please let me thank you for for the invitation and the opportunity to speak this evening here. And now let me get to your to your first question. So I think most people are not not aware of the important role astaxanthin is playing in our in our life in our health. 
actually, we can find astaxanthin in many foods in our daily diet, mainly in seafood like shrimp, lobster, and particularly salmon. But unfortunately, the amount of this important antioxidant we can get uh, we, we can get from our diet is uh, is by far not not enough to express all its health benefits and therefore we have to uh, provide sufficient amounts through dietary supplements clinical studies have shown that astaxanthin supplementation has benefits throughout the body cardiovascular skin vision muscle even cognitive benefits have been observed and described by researchers and this is because astaxanthin is working um, at the cellular and mitochondrial level. And I'm sure uh, later we will discuss this a little bit further in detail. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, my next question uh, to Mr. Eric, uh, that uh, can you please tell the what is your sources of collection? Thank you. And we really appreciate that's a very good question um, because the source of astaxanthin is very important. All of our astaxanthin is derived from the Hematococcus pluvialis microalgae. Um, that specific species is quite important because the majority of human clinical research has specifically been, been done on this algae form of astaxanthin. Um, it is true that there are other sources of astaxanthin. There is synthetic astaxanthin. There is astaxanthin that comes from GMO organisms but astaxanthin specifically from the Hematococcus pluvialis algae is the only form that's approved for sale in nutraceutical supplements in Europe, USA, Japan, Korea, Thailand, India, Australia, New Zealand, and, and other countries. So the astaxanthin that we supply uh, to, uh, to Bangladesh comes from this only globally approved source, uh, which is the Hematococcus pluvialis microalgae. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Um, uh, Dr. Jurg, so can you please tell me, is it a natural astaxanthin? Oh, thank you very much for asking this very important question. Yes, uh, it is as natural uh, as it can get. So as uh, uh, Eric already mentioned, so we are using Hematococcus pluvialis, which is the most commonly used source of natural astaxanthin, simply because of its high contents of, of uh, astaxanthin. So hematococcus is actually a very common microalgae. You can find this basically every, everywhere where on, on earth, may, probably in every puddle you can find, uh, can find these, uh, these, these cells. But most importantly, everybody who's using uh, uh, hematococcus pluvialis to produce natural astaxanthin is using a natural strain. So that means we are not using um, genetically modified uh, strains of, of, of Hematococcus pluvialis. So it is as natural as it can get. Thank you so much, sir. So can you please tell us the, how many doses form of astaxanthin are available? Oh, that's a very complex question. So let me let me start with the with the different formats in which we offer a natural astaxanthin to the markets. So after we have harvested the, the, the cells, we extract an astaxanthin-rich oil. It's called an oleoresin. And this, this oleoresin or this oil containing uh, about 10% uh, uh, astaxanthin can already be put directly into, for example, two, pe two pieces uh, um, capsules or in, in, uh, in soft gels. These forms are probably, probably the most common globally and um, very com convenient for, for consumers. But Fuji uh, Industries also has the, the, the technical uh, capabilities to convert the oil into powders that are suitable for uh, hard capsules or, tap or tablets, for example which are also very popular, particular in Australia. Uh, we also have the technology to convert the astaxanthin oil into water-soluble uh, liquids and powders. This allows us the real astaxanthin to be used in, uh, in powder drinks and uh, ready-to-drink beverages. For example, powder drinks with astaxanthin are quite popular in the USA. And there are multiple uh, ready-to-drink uh, beverages sold in, Chip in uh, Japan containing astaxanthin. So Fuji, uh, Fuji's astaxanthin, real astaxanthin, 
has also been used in uh, in other pro, uh, food products like um, chocolates, hard candies, gummies, protein bars, bars, and much more. However, the ac active ingredient in all of these forms is always the same. It is uh, um, natural astaxanthin from, from, from hematococcus. And there are no differences in, in absorption or, or um, effectiveness of the products. And um, maybe as a side note, I, I should also mention uh, when, uh, when best to take uh, uh, astaxanthin. And it's the best time to, to take astaxanthin is if you take it with some dietary fats, for example, the, the, the best time would be just after a meal, after a meal, take, uh, take astaxanthin. And uh, this uh, assures that all the, all the uh, active astaxanthin is being absorbed by our body. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much. In that case, the which doses form of is convenient for patient and which one manufactured by innovators? Can you please tell us? So when it comes when it comes to dosages, we are following uh, local regulations. For example, there are no upper limits on, on astaxanthin in Japan for food items, beverages, or dietary supplements. In the in the in the EU, it's a little bit different. There, the upper limit is 40 mil, 14 milligrams per day, and in countries like the USA or India, up to twelve milligrams per day are approved. However, in most countries, we see that the that products containing between two and six milligrams are very popular and uh, dominating. As, as one as one example, for example, our sub our subsidiary in uh, in Sweden, they have been selling a four milligram astaxanthin product in Europe since 1994, and that particular product is still increasing in popularity uh, year by year. Okay. okay, thank you so much, sir. Um, uh, sir, is there any benefit over synthesis astaxanthin? Oh yes, yes, there is. So we have to look at uh, first at uh, synthetic astaxanthin. In several studies, uh, it has been shown that, syn that synthetic astaxanthin, which is an artificial and petrochemical product, is less less efficient and especially less stable than natural astaxanthin. And this has something to do with uh, with with different molecular pro uh, mole molecular properties. Synthetic astaxanthin comes in an unesterified form, which which makes the molecule prone to oxidation. So it means it, it quickly de uh, degre uh, degre uh, degrades, and it is less bioavailable than the natural form. Most importantly, synthetic uh, synthetic astaxanthin is poorly investigated. There are no safety studies done with, with synthetic astaxanthin, and it is not recognized by mo most uh, health authorities and not approved as a dietary supplement or food additive. With uh, natural astaxanthin, it is different. There, uh, there are more than, than 40 safety studies done with natural astaxanthin derived from hematococcus. The health benefits have been demonstrated in well over 160 human studies which is why regulatory authorities such as the uh, FDA or, F or EFSA based their decision to approve this for human consumption barely on the, on the scientific evidence coming from research on astaxanthin uh, derived from hematococcus pluvialis. Thank you so much, sir, for your nice information. Uh, let's move on to Mr. Eric. Mr. Eric, please, can you tell me how many countries you are supplying the astaxanthin? Well, Fuji is supplying our astral astaxanthin to well over 30 countries worldwide. And what that means is that in each country, uh, our company Fuji has had to submit the necessary um, the documentation, safety dossiers with the local authorities. That means we have submitted uh, safety evidence in, uh, in Europe, in Japan, Australia, USA, Thailand, Korea, in, in really each of those 30 countries, um, we have had to fulfill those, uh, those requirements. And even though each country has different safety requirements, we have been able to receive approval from the authorities in all of those countries in which we sell astral astaxanthin. So it's been, it, it's been a long road uh, to achieve sales in, in 30 countries worldwide. And I think it's more like 35 countries worldwide, um, but we've been very happy um, 
that we've had that uh, that recognized success uh, in that many countries worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very great to hear you, uh, Doctor. I'm coming to Doctor Yerg. Uh, Doctor Yerg, a study says that Japanese are on top in living long life. So please, can you tell me what is the mystery behind the long life of Japanese people? I I think it's not a mystery. I think it's rather <laughs> uh, the, the, con the, the consequences of a healthier lifestyle, especially if you are looking at dietary habits here in Japan. A seafood-based diet and a great variety of vegetables, they provide most of the nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants the human body needs. But times are changing, and with it, the, 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 the diet. And as a result, more and more, more Japanese, they have to resort to dietary supplements to compensate for lack, lack of, of nutrients, and particularly uh, multivitamin and antioxidant products uh, are in high demand. So Fuji, we sell uh, Astaril Astaxanthin globally, but Japan is definitely our largest market for Astaxanthin and still uh, rapidly growing and the, the and the reason for that is that um in the in the market the benefits of astaxanthin uh, are widely recognized and especially uh the, the the strong scientific evidence uh makes makes this product really popular here in japan thank you so much sir uh, sir can you please uh, uh, shortly elaborate us the role of astaxanthin in human organ like uh, we know that astaxanthin is benefited for our immunity function muscle endurance brain health eye health as well as gastric health skin health cardiovascular health and as well as male infertility can you please brief this shortly as so uh, we need to keep in mind that astaxanthin acts as a cellular anti antioxidant. So it's protecting cells from internal as well as uh, external and especially environmental factors. Uh, just just to mention one one important factor is oxidative stress. In contrast to to other common antioxidants like beta carotene or vita the vitamin C and E, astaxanthin's uh, unique molecular st structure allows the molecule to integrate into the double membrane structure of cells and mitochondria. Okay. While spanning across the membrane structure, astaxanthin uh, can neutralize oxidative stress inside and outside of the organelles and also stabilize membrane, membrane structures. And this is very important uh, in, um, uh, in cellular uh, energy production in the mitochondria. Okay. So astaxanthin's function as, an, as a universal uh, cellular antioxidant is also the explanation for its wide range of health benefits. If we are looking at uh, health problems like cardiovascular diseases, muscle health, brain health, but also immunity or, or fertility, we come to realize that all these ailments are closely associated with oxidative stress and oxidative damage. Very early researchers, they have realized that um, natural astaxanthin is by far the most powerful and, and, and uh, effective antioxidant nature has to offer. And therefore, um, therefore, a lot of research has been done on, on uh, natural astaxanthin as a health, as, as in health ingredient and still is going on. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, sir. So, can you please tell me the how many clinical trials or studies you have done with estrogen? Oh, a lot. <laughs> the last time I, I last time I checked, I found uh, over one hundred and seventy clinical or human studies done oh. with with estaxanthin from uh, hematococcus. And as of now, more than seventy studies have been done uh, with astaril astaxanthin, and there are. Uh, couple of more more studies in the pipeline i cannot talk about it yet and this makes astaxanthin really the world's most studied natural astaxanthin brand uh, this is a fact we are really proud of and that's really great sir and that's a really good news for us also uh, so my next question is to mr eric do you supply the same material in bangladesh which you supply to europe yes all, all of our natural astaxanthin we mentioned is extracted from the algae that we produce in our facilities in the United States and Sweden. 
And the quality specifications for all of our astaxanthin is the same in every market globally. So what that means is the product that we sell in Europe, USA, Japan, and Bangladesh is all the same. Yeah, okay, okay. Then for what is your future plan about the astaxanthin? Mr. Eric. Oh, for me? Um, yes, well, yes, yes. Uh, what is your future plan about that? I see, thank about you. About astaxanthin. So, as Jorg mentioned, we plan to continue to fund clinical studies on natural astaxanthin. Um, we have studies ongoing in Japan, India, EU, and the USA right now. Um, we can mention that one of the first studies on astaxanthin for type 2 diabetes was recently completed at a university in, uh, in USA and in California. That study will be published in the next few months. And that is really the key to our philosophy. We believe that natural ingredients like astaxanthin must be supported by science. Um, so we plan to continue uh, pushing forward with those clinical studies. Another thing that we plan for the future is we're looking forward to seeing combination products with astaxanthin and other natural ingredients being sold in Bangladesh. Uh, we understand that in Bangladesh that there are certain regulatory requirements that need to be fulfilled, uh, but we know that combinations with astaxanthin and other ingredients can have very powerful benefits. Um, for example, astaxanthin plus lutein and zeaxanthin, that is a very popular product for eye health in Korea. Um, Omega-3s combined with astaxanthin uh, is widely sold in Japan for cardiovascular benefits and astaxanthin plus glutathione uh, is a great combination for skin um, that is sold in Thailand and Malaysia, for example. So certainly one of our goals is to supply uh, the necessary, necessary documentation and evidence uh, to make sales of those uh, astaxanthin combination products possible in Bangladesh as well. Okay, um, that's great, sir. Uh, we are looking for it. Uh, so my next question to Mr. Yerk, uh, sorry, sorry, Dr. Yerk, please tell us finally the feature, advantage, and benefits of this product. I think we already talked uh, about the unique ways how natural astaxanthin works and all the signs that shows um, how how valuable astaxanthin is for our our health. So there's there's no no doubt about that. But there are a few details you have to pay attention to when opting for astaxanthin as a dietary supplement going beyond the importance of selecting a natural natural form, uh, ideally from hematococcus. It is also very important to look at the production processes. I personally, I strongly recommend to choose natural astaxanthin coming from algae that have been cultivated under controlled and optimized conditions. Um, we at we, we at Esther Rio, we have developed very early um, uh, specific uh, technology to cultivate the the algae uh, in closed photobioreactors, which allows us to monitor and control the growth conditions, uh, which in the end uh, gives us the uh, leads to to a sustained production of fully mature cells, uh, free of contaminants and unwanted residues and especially of a continuous and high uh, quality product. Okay, thank you so much to both of you. So we are nearing the end of the program. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it that you took the time out of your busy schedule and providing us such informative and valuable information. And uh, thank you uh, to thanks, last but not the least, thanks to my viewers to see you again and uh, to watching us. Uh, see you again some other day on another topic. Until then, stay well thank and healthy. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you again. I'm ending my program. I love thank it. You so much. Thank, you. thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you sir.